Hi everyone. Welcome to our presentation on Exploring Advanced Cooling Technologies, a Comprehensive Analysis. In today's world, where efficiency and sustainability are paramount, understanding different cooling technologies is crucial across various industries. Our discussion today will provide a deep dive into various cooling technologies, their unique benefits, efficiency comparisons, and optimal applications. Let's take a moment to outline the roadmap for today's presentation. First, we'll provide an overview of different cooling technologies. Next, we'll explore the specific benefits associated with each system. Following that, we'll delve into an efficiency comparison to understand how these technologies compare against each other. Finally, we'll discuss the applications and best use cases for each cooling system. Moving on to our first technology, water-cooled chillers. These systems are prevalent in large industrial and commercial settings. The basic principle involves circulating water through a condenser to remove heat. One key advantage is their high efficiency, making them ideal for scenarios with substantial cooling demands. Now, let's explore the key benefits. High energy efficiency. Water-cooled chillers often boast impressive energy efficiency ratings, translating to long-term cost savings. Scalability. These systems can be scaled up to handle large cooling loads effectively. Performance in extreme conditions. Water-cooled chillers perform well in environments with extreme ambient temperatures. In terms of efficiency, water-cooled chillers generally outperform other systems. Here, we'll present a comparison of energy efficiency ratings, emphasizing the potential for substantial cost savings over the long term. Water-cooled systems reduce energy consumption by 25% compared to traditional air-cooled alternatives. Water-cooled chillers find their sweet spot in large industrial facilities, data centers, commercial buildings with consistent and high cooling demands. Moving on to air-cooled chillers, these systems offer versatility and cost-effectiveness. They operate by dissipating heat using ambient air, making them suitable for smaller applications and spaces with limited room for mechanical equipment. Key benefits of air-cooled chillers include lower installation costs. Air-cooled chillers are generally more cost-effective to install. No need for a separate water supply. This simplifies the system and reduces associated infrastructure costs. Simplicity in design and maintenance. These systems are known for their straightforward design and ease of maintenance. When considering air-cooled chillers, it's noteworthy that these systems are not only cost-effective but also environmentally friendly. Air-cooled systems being closed network have minor water consumptions compared to water-cooled counterparts making them a sustainable choice for water conservation in regions facing water scarcity. While air-cooled chillers may not match the efficiency of water-cooled counterparts in extreme conditions, their efficiency remains commendable. We'll discuss considerations, particularly in moderate climate conditions, and highlight their advantages. Air-cooled chillers are particularly well-suited for smaller commercial spaces, offices, facilities with limited space for mechanical equipment, now, let's explore VRF systems, which offer precise temperature control by varying the refrigerant flow. These systems are ideal for spaces with diverse cooling needs. Key benefits include energy efficiency through variable capacity. VRF systems adapt to changing cooling requirements, resulting in energy savings. Zoning capabilities. This allows for personalized comfort in different areas. Simultaneous heating and cooling. VRF systems can provide both heating and cooling concurrently enhancing year-round comfort. Look at the energy efficiency of VRF systems, emphasizing their adaptability to varying cooling demands and the resultant energy savings. VRF systems find optimal use in hotels, hospitals, commercial buildings with varying cooling demands across different zones. Direct expansion systems are commonly used in residential and small commercial applications. They work by directly cooling the air using a refrigerant. The benefits of DX systems include Simple design and installation. DX systems are known for their straightforward design and ease of installation. Cost effectiveness for smaller applications. These systems are often more cost effective for smaller scale applications. Easy maintenance. DX systems are relatively easy to maintain. Here is the efficiency of DX systems in smaller scale applications, emphasizing their suitability for residential and small commercial spaces. DX systems are ideal for residential buildings small offices, retail spaces. Now, let's extend our exploration to include three additional cooling technologies, evaporative cooling, geothermal systems, and hybrid systems. Evaporative cooling is particularly noteworthy in dry regions. 
For example, a case study demonstrated that in a dry climate, evaporative cooling systems reduced energy consumption by 40% compared to traditional air conditioning systems. This showcases their effectiveness in regions with low humidity. Key benefits include Energy efficiency Evaporative cooling systems consume less energy compared to traditional air conditioning. Cost effectiveness Lower operational costs due to reduced energy consumption. Environmentally friendly Evaporative cooling relies on water evaporation, minimizing the environmental impact. Evaporative cooling is well suited for Dry and arid climates Industrial settings with large open spaces. Cost-sensitive applications where energy efficiency is crucial. Moving on to geothermal systems, these systems harness the stable temperature of the earth for heating and cooling purposes. Key benefits include High energy efficiency. Geothermal systems leverage the consistent temperature of the earth, providing efficient heating and cooling. Environmental sustainability. Geothermal systems produce fewer greenhouse gas emissions compared to traditional HVAC systems. Long lifespan. Geothermal systems often have a longer lifespan than traditional systems. We'll discuss the efficiency of geothermal systems, emphasizing their ability to provide consistent and sustainable heating and cooling over an extended period. Geothermal systems are ideal for residential heating and cooling, commercial buildings, Industrial applications with a need for consistent and sustainable temperature control. Our final technology to explore is hybrid systems, which integrate multiple cooling technologies for enhanced efficiency and flexibility. For example, integrating solar panels with traditional HVAC systems can result in a 20% reduction in overall energy consumption. This highlights the potential for hybrid systems to contribute significantly to energy efficiency. Key benefits include Improved energy efficiency. Hybrid systems combine the strengths of different technologies to optimize energy usage. Increased reliability. Redundancy and flexibility contribute to enhanced system reliability. Customization. Hybrid systems can be tailored to specific needs and environmental conditions. Hybrid systems are suitable for buildings with varying cooling and heating demands. Locations with access to multiple energy sources. Industries that prioritize both energy efficiency and reliability. In conclusion, our exploration of advanced cooling technologies has covered a diverse range of systems, each with its unique benefits and applications. As technology continues to advance, understanding these options allows us to make informed decisions for efficient and sustainable cooling solutions.